international page uh, let's talk about this famous actress in nigeria and one of the most beautiful ladies we have known in africa when it comes to uh, movie uh, who goes by the name uh, stella damasos who reveals that she was raped at the age of eight the veteran Hollywood actress Stella Damasos has revealed how she was sexually assaulted at a tender age and she says that, well, she has never really had the guts to go on online nor to go on air to reveal the secret that she has kept in her for so, so, so many years. According to Stella, she was only eight in a live session with the veteran rapper Boutique, the renowned therapist says that narrated and says that she was molested by a supposed relative at a tender age. The 43 year old mother of two shared her story while explaining why she had been calm about the recent rape issue. These are her words, and she says, I hate when people come and say this thing happened to you. Why are you just talking about it now? It has happened to me and by someone who was supposed to be related to me. I was just eight years old and couldn't talk about it. I was in a lot of trauma. I was traumatized, and nobody knew what I was dealing with. I knew what happened to others who talked about it, and they were either body shamed, others were disgraced. Why you see the shame even in school? And we are not in a society that would say that, oh, Stella, you should see a therapist, but they are going to mock you, they are going to laugh at you. Others would be like, wow, just at your tender age, you have met with a man. Oh, what a shame. No man is going to marry her. She is a disgrace. So I had to live with this pain for so much and so many years of my life. And I've been fighting with this for a very long time now until I actually made up my mind to see a counselor and a therapist. She ends by saying she has healed from going on the counseling session and saying that now at least freeing her mind and talking about it has made her to feel a lot better and she says that most often we should try not to body shame or make mockery of those who have been victims of rape because that is something that has a lot to do with your psychology and it can affect you for a lifetime she is a mother she has two kids but at the age of eight and now she's 43 years old and she still lives without trauma. So we should be very careful the way we treat people who have been victims of rape. Let's move to the next where we talk about the moment Davido and Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage son with the name Jamal and husband of his daughter, a mother at her birthday party. Davido makes it clear by saying that Tiwa Savage's son Jamal is going to actually be the future husband to her beautiful to his beautiful daughter sorry imade and he said this on his uh, daughter's birthday party and it's no more news that boss davido's daughter celebrated her birthday a few years ago or a few days ago and the party thrown for her in lagos the party took place on sunday the 16th of may at banana island lagos state where sophia mamadu and davido reunited to celebrate the little girl's birthday some celebrity like Tiwa Savage, Tiwa Savage's son Jamal, and Pateran King's daughter were spotted during the party. The highlight of the birthday party was, however, when Davido called Tiwa Savage's son Jamal, the husband, to my daughter Emade. Everyone has been like, is this actually a celebrity way of getting married? Or maybe it was just a prank from Davido or he seriously, he intended and means what he said. Well, we are still on this matter because we are going to see where the light are or where the light is going to spark from. Let's see from the picture we can see that tiwa savage and davido they've been together since they had their babies you can see the babies were looking just so younger there and now they are all getting into adults and davido is saying that her daughter imade is definitely going to be a wife to tiwa savage son jamal well we are going to see how possible that is going to be Let's talk about the Afropop artist, Com gospel singer, Chidima Ekile, who speaks about her new life in Christ. And she says that there has never been peace she has had all her life. 
than taking the decision to follow Jesus. She says that she has had one of the best lives ever since she made her mind to actually follow Christ. And she says that, well, a lot of things have changed about her, her dress code, the way she talks, the way she approaches people, and a lot of things have actually changed in her family. She's seeing the blessings of God in her life ever since she made up her mind to follow Christ. And she says that, well, now she can actually believe that it was ordained, it was actually written up there that she was finally going to end up like this. Well, she never believed it until she was arrested by God to be the servant of the Most High. And she is proud to say that she has much more program she has much more interesting things to teach us about christ the body of christ about christianity about enjoying being a servant of the most high let's talk about a new cross dresser we know about bob risky and we know about shakiro in cameroon just not long ago we have a new cross dresser in nigeria who comes online and posts pictures of her says that well he's very happy to say that he is like this and he wants to say that well he's feeling very comfortable with the way he is and if anyone does not like the way he is well he likes it and he says that he has been molested by so many people in his life and he wants to say that he feels very comfortable being like this and he's turning into a very beautiful woman looking much more prettier than even some women out there well it's like the world is actually coming to an end because most men now want to look like women just not long ago shakira in cameroon was giving a five-year sentence with a fine and not long ago we've been talking about bob risky and yet this is another person coming again being a cross-dresser that is a man acting to be a woman already having curves to show that uh, he has undergone surgeries and now the question is what is happening in the world is it that the men actually don't like to be men anymore they want to be women or what could actually be the problem why a man is deciding to turn into a woman to dress in women outfits to have a makeup on wear wigs and act exactly like women well we are going to find out subsequently as the day and the years go let's talk about actress if a scene who scolds at a fan who accused her of always staying in hotels this fan says that Eve has been noted of being and always sleeping in hotels and asked her what happened to your home is it that it's itching you or you just like to be promiscuous and sleeping with men in hotels well, the popular Nollywood actress, Best Atoll, who prognosed and saying that what is your own is my, in my business. Why are you the prognosed for Tiwe you know, concern you? And she was not finding it any funny anymore. And she says that the actress took her time to reply to this Instagram and further took a screenshot and shared it on her Instagram page and said the two accused her of always staying in hotels. Eve had to remind him that her work takes her around the state and is expected to stay in hotels. Here is her reply. Her words are, you fool. I walk around the clock in different states. I won't be busy filming and cashing out if I lunch at home. Receive thanks, my dear. And next time, think about what you talk about and you have to read exactly what you write and how you talk to people. Well, we know about this lady. She is a well-known actress in Nollywood. That is to be precise in Nigeria and she has been accused of always sleeping in hotels and has been asked if she does not have a home of her own and I guess some people are actually really hot tempered and that was a very big blow to her that she could not bear she could not take it any longer and she had to act to that post immediately calling a fan a fool and asking him to receive things okay and now let's move down to uh, Nengi we know about Nengi. Nengi is uh, an ex-Big Brother made from the Big Brother Niger house. And Nengi was crowned the most beautiful lady of her time. And not long ago, Nengi goes on social media and uh, says that, well, I am 23 years old. And we have reactions from some of her fans. And their words are, if Nengi can be 23, that means my grandmother is 25. 
And Nigerians have blasted Nengi, and they say that we least expect this from you. Look at how curvy you are. Look at how you just look like a mother, and yet you say you are 23 year old. You and Naira Mali, if you like, never change her be, always 23 year old. Even a mother can say that she is 23 year old. However, Nigerians dragged her online, accusing her of lying about her age. Nengi rose to stardom after making an appearance on the Big Brother Niger lockdown ever since she has continued to be back and men and having a lot of deals and however, the reality star has revealed her achievements at the age of 23. Nigerians, uh, Nigerians sorry, are still in shock at the revelation that Nengi, who is well curvy and beautiful, is saying that she is 23 years of age. Well. We are going to see how true that is because it's like every artist now or every star now is actually never getting old. Just not long ago, Naira Mali celebrated his birthday on the 10th of May and said he was 23 years old. And a fan replied to that saying that the last five years you celebrated your birthday, you said you were 23 years old. And today you're still saying you're 23 years old. Papa, it means that you don't deliberately decide for no OSHA. Anyhow, OH go cash all man. And now Nengi is her turn. She says she's 23 years old. Well, we really cannot argue with that, except she comes out with the proof that is a birth certificate or something, identification, to show that actually she's 23. Now, let's talk a little about the Western world. Where we talk about Jay-Z and McMill, who donated 1 million masks to fight COVID-19 in the U.S. They say that most often, most often in their prisons, they are very congested. And with the COVID-19 pandemic, it's very easy for anyone to catch the disease. And that is why they made it and took upon themselves to provide 100 million face masks to these prisoners. And they say that they made the donation through their Reform Alliance Foundation. And uh, the rapper Jay-Z and Mick Mill have pledged their support to protect the inmates and the prison staff in the U.S. They say that they have a lot of money to actually support these people. And most often, the prisoners and their staff, they are treated anyhow in the U.S. of A and in the United States of America, and they are taking upon themselves to say that they are standing for prisoners and they will be there to help them fight the COVID-19 pandemic. Wow, it is good to see uh, stars like this taking initiatives, uh, humanitarian initiatives, to uh, actually help those who are really not privileged to have all the opportunities that we have standing in as philanthropists. And uh, it is very rare to have situations like this from men like this. We have other stars. We have never seen things like this. Instead, they spend their time organizing La Vida local birthday parties, having all the throw around cash and all the nightclubs and the shoes and the Adidas and everything. But Jay-Z and Big Mill, they have kept everyone in serious shock by helping prisoners with surgical masks to fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. This is where we have to curd our teeth and dot our eyes and tell you that we've had a wonderful time giving you gist and the more stories about entertainment, not only in Africa, but the world at large. And for presentation, I've been C. Shantan Doha. You can call me Shantan Max. This is CMTV where entertainment is never enough. We have much more interesting programs coming your way tomorrow. We have a request show for you. Oh, yes. And uh, just to remind you that we have a rebroadcast of entertainment news every day from 6.30 a.m. and 6.30 p.m. So, in case you miss this edition or any edition, you can always catch up. And just to remind our gospel artists, our doors are widely open for you in case you have or you want to actually promote yourself and your video. And with just 10,000 francs, you stand a promotion of a lifetime. That is, as long as CMTV exists, we are going to take you to another level. And not only limited to gospel artists, we also want to invite all the artists out there. Bring your videos, bring yourself, bring your advertisements here. And CMTV is here to serve you. Have a blessed evening and have a blessed Monday.